I know it's been a while, and I apologize for that, but I run into some medical stuff, some personal stuff, and a bunch of other crap, which I will clear up at a later date, once that's actually all cleared up anyways. But, sorry for the late video, but here we go. Hopefully I don't lose any more subs because of it. But this is a journalist, the same month my brother was killed, wrote a hit piece on him. Basically lied his ass off and gave his opinion, which is which it's considering an opinion piece, thankfully, because, well, he's an idiot. So let's get into this. Letters. Had Joseph Wilcox stopped Jared Miller, he would have been a criminal, too. No, he wouldn't have. To the editor, any competent lawyer, there are a few, would admit that when Joseph Wilcox pulled a loaded gun and prepared to use it on Jared Miller on June 8th, he broke the law. Now his wording, would admit, not did admit or said it would happen because he never spoke to any lawyers. He's making an assumption of the law, which, well, is a bad idea. Miller did not directly threaten anyone inside the Walmart with his gun. He did not point or fire at anyone. And he did not restrain or take anyone hostage with his weapon. One, as he entered the Walmart, he was brandishing his gun, which means his gun was in hand. Like this. Well, actually, his finger is on the trigger, but I'm not going to do that. He walked into Walmart and fired it around into the ceiling. That's intent. He is already a danger. Anybody who would have taken a shot at him at that time would have been doing so in self-defense or a defense of others. Case closed. He did pull a gun, fire into the ceiling, and verbally claim the start of a revolution and order everyone to leave the store. But because he did not pose a deadly threat to anyone, again, he fired off a weapon Inside a store, yes, he was a threat to everyone. An intervention by another with a deadly force were not legally justifiable. Yes, it was. Had Mr. Wilcox successfully closed on Miller and shot and killed him, the law would, at minimum, have required he be charged with manslaughter. This is not true. He needs to look up the definition of manslaughter. This would have been a self-defense killing, or a justifiable homicide. The true irony is that Amanda Miller's actions in the shooting and killing Mr. Wilcox were legally justified because another person was acting illegally and preparing to kill her husband. No! Again, that is completely wrong. The Millers' brutal execution of two Las Vegas police officers at the pizza parlor was legally a separate event from what occurred at Walmart. It doesn't matter if they were separate. It doesn't matter if nobody knew about them. He made himself a clear and present danger inside the Walmart when he brandished his gun and fired it. So even if they are legally separate, it doesn't matter. He is still a danger in there. So again, you are wrong. Let's see here. So if I repeat stuff, I keep losing track of where I actually am. Okay, here we go. We're legally, we're a separate event from what occurred at the Walmart. Those at Walmart, including Mr. Wilcox, were unaware of the Miller's terrible actions earlier. That does not matter. He made himself a danger when he walked into Walmart. Now I'm trying to make sure the screen recorder grabs this to make sure it's all set properly. That's why I'm taking a little extra time here. But community leaders are determined to paint this rash, impulsive guy as a true hero. I will let you pick this apart because it, that just kind of pisses me off. The truth is that when Mr. Wilcox pulled his gun to end it, he seriously endangered everyone remaining in the store because... With what the Millers had just done at the pizza parlor, they could have easily 
concluded that others were willing to stop them and could have easily started blasting away. Had I been in the store and a lunatic miller had fired into the ceiling and ordered us to leave, I would have felt reasonably safe as long as I proceeded at the door quietly. But with Mr. Wilcox playing hero and preparing to shoot millers, I would have been extremely nervous. But my or our perspective of not being allowed to vacate the premises safely. This is bullshit. Nobody actually watched. The only when my brother pulled his gun, he kept it at his side and kept it at the ready. He did not have it pointed anywhere. As a matter of fact, his finger wasn't even on the trigger. He, he walked through the store calmly and ran when needed, but there was nobody around him when he was doing this. Nobody was paying attention to him. So this idiot claiming he would have done any of that is bullshit. These thoughts on Mr. Wilcox do not remove the terrible pain inflicted on the community through the loss of the officers. Without people like them, we definitely live in a state of anarchy, as the Miller described. <sighs> there is more about, there is more in this, but it's mainly about his neighbors not speaking up. But he, this guy is basically saying, painting my brother as a, as a villain, and that he did everything wrong. And this guy is basically nothing but a fucking moron. I will link this in the description below. I just have other stuff rendering, so it may take some time to get this out. Anyways, thank you for sticking around. Like I said, the other stuff that's been kind of taking up my time, I'll explain later, depending on which which direction that stuff goes. Anyways, y'all have a nice day, and I promise, or at least attempt to make sure the next video isn't too far out. That's it. Miss Osabir, Tatiana, Alina. You cannot invade the mainland United States. There would be a rifle behind every blade of grass. Isoroku Yamamoto. Now, you've just watched another video by Running Guns News. If you liked the video, hit like. If you're, if you're new here, hit the subscribe button. If you actually enjoy my content, you can, you can support me or my channel financially, if you choose, by PayPal, Patreon, BitChute now has an option to do monthly or one-time payments, which no matter what you pick, it's still taken out at the beginning of every month, just so you know. And you can catch my videos on other platforms, which will also be linked below. So until then, have a nice day.